Let's go to active buzzer. This is where it gets fun. I like active. I like buzzers. In this lesson, you will learn how to generate a sound with an active buzzer. So you need the Uno R three, some wires, and a buzzer. That's it. So let's uh, take apart our current um, circuit. So the buzzer is this big round one here. Get this open. I'm just gonna empty this all out here. All right. So this is the buzzer. Remove seal off the washing. Okay. Why are we washing the buzzer? <laughs> so my pin comes bent. I don't know if your one does. Okay, so super simple setup they're going for here. Don't think they're even using a breadboard. So they're literally just... I'm assuming the longer pin is positive and the shorter pin is negative. I mean, I don't know that. Just re Let's read this component introduction. Buzzers are DC powered and equipped with an integrated circuit. They are widely used in computers, printers, blah, blah, blah. Uh, buzzers can be categorized as active and passive ones. Turn the pins of the two buzzers face up. The one with the green circuit board is a passive buzzer, while the other enclosed with a black tape is an active one. I don't know what it, mean by, what it means by green circuit board, but okay. This only came with one buzzer, so... Anyways. So let's go ground to ground. It's a bit awkward getting it in actually. It kind of goes in sideways best, which is weird. Okay, well, I can't actually even see. Now that I've plugged it in, I can't even see which terminal pins I've put into what. So what I'm gonna do instead is, I'll do, so what pin did it want? It wanted me to do pin 12. So I'll put this into pin 12, and then I'll put this into the positive rail of the breadboard and then I'll use another wire to go let's go positive and here negative and I'll just connect this ground here and this positive here and then I'll try and basically plug this in somehow okay so all right, that's super awkward to do but that's not incorrectly because I need to move this pin up one so there's basically a one uh, column gap between it. So now when I ground this now it should work. Okay. So no buzzing sound. I assume if I connected this to 5 volts it would buzz. So let's... Oh no, I haven't grounded. <laughs> I've made a mistake. Look, I've powered both pins. So this needs to go here. There you go. So that's grounded, that's positive. So we'll leave that like that. Let's carry on with the code. And then let's just upload and see what happens. An error occurred while uploading the sketch. It appears I've got a missing library pictures, so let's try and add that. So I've gone to manage library. Okay, pictures. Micro gamer. I don't think this is correct. I'll just install it anyways. So here now, upload. Oh, there you go. So what do you think? It's a decent little buzzer. I feel like taking this off. Um, at least the buzzer's working, right? So I assume the changing tone, because if you just connect the buzzer straight to power, I believe it should just make a solid buzzing sound. So the fact that it's changing pitches shows to me that there's going to be some code going on. So let's let's take a look at our code. And so you can see here it's writing about a high, low, high, low, high, low, and it's switching between that high, low state in one with one millisecond between it. So let me let's just make this 160, this uh, for loop eye counter, and then upload. See what happens. It's kind of a longer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's make it uh, 500. Upload. Yeah. Then it's going to go low. Is it? Mm 
Nice, that can slow it buzzing. Let me try 200. This is how I prefer to learn to code. I prefer to mess about with stuff like this. My lecturer, he would say to me, Hammy, try and break the code. So 200 still kind of oscillates between sounds, but 300 in terms of a for loop doesn't oscillate at all. Just solid. What if I make it a thousand? This shouldn't make any difference, but let's see. Exactly the same. Okay, so that was 80. Let's make it 10. Okay. It's a bit like a ticking. Have a listen. I'm going to make it 40 now. I love the simplicity of being able to just change the code quickly and loading it straight into your Arduino. So that was originally 80. I'll make that 80 again. And then, okay, interesting. So there's actually two for loops here. So what if I make this one 10? Okay, so we've got two. Okay, I don't really understand what's going on here, but it seems we've got the two different sounds of the buzzers are these two for loops. Or well, the second sound that we're hearing is this for loop. So, okay, okay. So this controls the first beeping sound. So that's why when I made it a thousand, you could only hear that one tone beeping sound so what if I make this a thousand you wouldn't hear this would you yeah I thought so so what if I made them both ten oops <laughs> there you go and both one. I'm expecting a screech. So when I wonder if when they're equal, so if they're both a hundred, it should just be just an even oscillation between the two sounds. Yeah. So what was it originally? I think this was eighty, and this was a hundred. I'm not sure, but okay. Let's have a look at what the PDF has to say. But I enjoyed that; that was fun. Alright, so we've got a while loop, standard while loop stuff. If you're decent at program, if you're if you've programmed anything before, you know about while loops, um, conditions, you know, data variables. Alright, so they didn't actually go into the code with us. Well, that sucks. I understand why, in terms of keeping it sim simple, but. For myself, you know, I'd like to understand what's going on here a bit more. Let me uh, turn this off. So I just take out this ground pin. So I'm thinking actually, if I make this, if I make these both low, what does that do? Does that just mean that they should just, it should just all be off? So I shouldn't hear anything. Let's connect back my ground wire again. So that's currently going. So now I'll. Load the code. Yeah, it's just off. Okay, so what if I make it high, just one? Ah, nice. So you could do that as like an um, as a emergency signal. So let me let's make this one high and the other one low. So 
So I'm intrigued to know what sets the frequency here. Maybe it has something to do with this delay. If I set this to high. If I set them both to high and both exactly the same variables. Right. So if I make this one and this one. So now these two are exactly the same. So I shouldn't actually hear. I'm thinking that it has something to do with the delay between the high and low oscillation. So I'm thinking that if these are both delayed ones, both for 80 counts, then you should just get a solid sound. I shouldn't hear a difference, right? Perfect. Okay, I got it. So now let's, if I wanted to output three different sounds, okay, let's just say if I wanted to output, no, no let's go three different sounds. So I've got a for loop here. Let's put another for loop. Sorry if you don't if you're not comfortable with programming, I apologize, don't worry about this. Um you can skip ahead a bit. So if I put another for loop here, if I just load this, it should still work. Yep, okay. So now if I make this two, we should hear only two sounds. It should be this sound and then a second pitched sound. And then back to the normal and then okay let's make this free so now we should hear three different sets of sounds it's hard to tell it's a bit too fast let's make this 160 oops we'll make them all 160 to slow it down a bit. so i'm looking for three distinct sounds mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't tell. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, let's make this five. Okay, what if I make this ten? I'm trying to hear... I can't hear the three distinct buzzers. It sounds to me like I can only hear one and then the second one. Maybe there's an issue here with my for loop. Oh yeah, there is. They didn't. Oh no, there isn't. Okay, wait one second. So, oh no. Okay, so this for loop doesn't exist inside this for loop. It exists inside the while loop. So let me take this for loop out. Again, if you're... Not a programmer, apologies. If you are, then you're probably laughing, so it's all good. I'm glad I made you laugh. Alright, there. So, that should work now. There you go. So, you got the three distinct sounds there, right? So, let's make this uh, five. So, I cannot type right now. Okay. There you go, yeah. You can hear the three different... So it's the delay between the high and lows that cause the different frequencies, so to speak, of the buzzer. So what would happen if I made this 100? Hmm. <laughs> That is funny. Yeah, that actually sounds like a legit buzzer. Like an alarm clock or something. So it's waiting for 100 milliseconds, right? And then doing it 160 times. So we're going to be here a while. There you go. It changed eventually. And then back to that. What if I make it 1,000? nice so you see this is cool so you know just from this super simple code code you've been able you could literally you could take this code save it and now you have you know for example or you can like use it as functions in the code and you could say all right when my system is doing this so for example if you wanted to build a robot 
When it's reversing, play this sound. When it runs out of battery, run this code. When it, run, when it does this, run that code. And all you have is just this one buzzer and it's outputting these different beeps, which is cool. Let's, um, one last one and then we'll move on to the next one. 10,000. I'm glad I did this because look, the, the PDF, for whatever reason, they didn't go into any of this. So that sucks, but in this, let's upload. So it just gets more and more high pitched. All right, I said last one, but I can't help myself. 100,000. Upload. So you, you can't really tell the difference anymore. I keep saying last one, 1 million. Let's go 10 million. Yeah, I can't. I can't hear a difference there. So that's it at ten million. All right, now I already have another one of these kits, so I may break. I, don't, I shouldn't break it, but I'm just gonna pull this off because I don't like this. But I'm just gonna see hopefully if it makes a difference to sound or not, and if it's needed. Wow, <laughs> that does make a difference to the sound. I'm glad I did that. So there's a hole there that you could cover. Oh, that is well annoying. Oof, that's painful. Let me just try and turn it down back to 100 and see how bad it sounds without, without that thing being covered. Oh, my ears, man. Okay, so this sounds like a normal buzzer. I'm gonna cover it now with my finger. <laughs> As you can see, I'm having a lot of fun with this. All right, on to the next one. Let's just, just kidding. <laughs> All right. Oh my God, what? Oh, it's being grounded by. <laughs> That's funny. So I took out the grounding pin and then it was touching this and grounding itself. Which is funny, so that must be like you know, some sort of ground. Cool? Alright guys, on to the next one.